Hi. Today, we'll demonstrate how to test one of these uh, moving coil velocity transducers. So these sensors are very common uh, for vibration monitoring purposes. And one thing that's unique about those sensors is depending how they are designed, they can be made to sense at a vertical direction or 45 degrees or a 90 degrees mounting position. And a um, common mistake, you know, would be if you have a sensor like this that was designed for 90 degrees and I have it mounted on my shaker. And in this situation, uh, if I run my shaker and I check the voltage output from the sensor, you know, if I'm inputting a one inch per second vibration amplitude, I should read approximately 500 uh, millivolts. So this sensor is a 500 millivolts per inch per second, which is roughly about 20 millivolts per millimeter per second. And at this point, I'm not nearly close to that. I'm, I'm taking a reading here and I'm, I'm reading about, you know, 330 millivolts. So that clearly shows me there's something wrong and in this particular case is the orientation, the shaker, the vibration uh, direction is not right. So I'm gonna uh, turn my shaker, my calibration shaker to, to a 90 degrees position. Um, make sure I get it right. Got a little bubble level here. Just, um, that's pretty close. And at this point, I'm gonna lock the shaker in the right orientation and I'm checking my meter again and let's write that on 500 uh, millivolts. So what we have here on this setup, just to explain a little bit, we have a 9000A, which is a smart sign calibration driver from the Moto shop. And what that does, it generates the vibration, the sine wave to the shaker that gets amplified by the amplifier that goes to a general purpose shaker. We are using the 2075E shaker. So the shaker shakes at a given amplitude, which is monitored by the reference accelerometer. So we are using a reference uh, accelerometer from PCB. It's a model 301A11 that's mounted on the shaker on a back-to-back -back configuration with the sensor that I'm testing. So right now I have my moving coil transducer right at the 90 degrees orientation and the system can read the sensor under test and the reference accelerometer and take a calibration ratio uh, which gives me the sensitivity in real time. So right now I'm putting out uh, 0.5 inches per second RMS and my sensitivity is being measured at 507 millivolts per inch per second, which is right within the specification of the sensor manufacturer. And last but not least, you know, this kind of testing is done at a reference frequency, which is 100 hertz. The sensor is designed for a broader frequency range. So this particular sensor can go all the way down to four and a half uh, hertz, which is approximately 300 RPM, all the way up to 1000 hertz, which is 60,000 RPM. So I can quickly check the sensor at other frequencies to make sure I'm getting the output of the sensor uh, within the range that the sensor is specified. So let's just go up real quick to 1000 hertz. You can hear the, the sound coming from the shaker. So there we go, we are right at a thousand hertz and the sensitivity is still uh, a, just a little bit below uh, 500 millivolts per inch per second or just, you know, where the sensor starts to roll off at 1000 hertz. And I can do the, the testing for, you know, a minimum of six different frequency points to create a calibration certificate. We are gonna show that on the next video. But just to summarize, uh, we are testing a moving coil velocity transducer using the 9000A as our smart sign 
calibration driver. It's driving the shaker at 100 hertz, and we are checking the output of my uh, sensor, which, according to the manufacturer, it should be within 500 millivolts per inch per second or approximately 20 millivolts per millimeter per second. And my sensor is working just fine as we expected. At this point, I can remove that sensor and check the next one. Thank you.